around. So there's uh, the first one is the follow target option. That means those balls will not just fly straight, but they actually will try to home towards the target. So like homing missiles. Um, there's a steer decree where you can define to what how strongly they will steer toward the target. And uh, adjust time is something where you define how quickly they will start adjusting to the target. This is actually something that it can use to make sure they don't like immediately fly toward uh, the target and something like this, um, but maybe later a bit. Worse sideways is something that we use that it will not just fly straight, but it will just going back and forth like this. You actually can see that uh, for the crab boss, like the bubbles are fly flying left and right, so like that's like the relative decree it will how much it will work sideways like 10 percent of the direction will change where 100 percent would be 180 or 360 degree turn i'm not sure um word time means uh how much time will be spent until it goes back and forth like this and um delay seriously i have no idea i mean that's the thing like, there's a lot of properties here and um probably need to experiment around with them again to understand them. That's actually why having a proper editor where you can add some documentation for all these properties is always a good idea and that's something we usually do. Um, finally, the slowdown. That's actually something again for the bubbles of the cargo crab. They make sure that when the projectile is shot, it will not just immediately fly to the player, but it will first stop it will very slow and then it will just continue moving faster again. It's a great thing to... Um, to actually telecraft the attack for a player. So it's not like it will flee, fly mm -hmm. immediately, but at first it will slow and then they will get fast again. So you can very easily react to the attack. I would just keep this in here now because I don't want to experiment too much with the balls. So they will exactly behave like the bubbles from the cow crab. For now, it's something we can change, but uh, yeah. Gonna save this. We got our balls. Any questions so far? Uh, nope. Uh, we, we don't have questions. I mean, we have like pseudo radio sets. <laughs> you could say that's RPG Maker sunglasses. Just read it. Legs yeah. in depth. Yeah, yeah, this is genius. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I should bring my sunglasses next time. Uh, huh? Okay. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. and, your, uh, um, and your top hat that you don't have. I have one still. It's a oh. flat. I should, read, wait, I should wear my top hat here once. That would be appropriate. Though it actually yeah. hurts after some time, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess so, because it's, I mean, w especially if you're also uh, wearing, like, um, your headset. Oh, yeah, well, especially her for that one. Oh, shit. Yeah. The uh, possibilities are well. almost endless. My my brain hurts just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's so much time was spent working on the system. It's, there's such a huge amount of things we can do these days. Um mm. It's kind of like uh, um, sometimes also very like there's so much stuff you can do right and wrong with that, but, um, but so far but it also all pretty well, I think. The, the thing is also that um, I mean for for the really interesting things, uh, we kind of have to wait for for later enemies because um, hmm. early enemies shouldn't have such super complex attack patterns. You don't, you can't even imagine what we can do with the system later. I mean, just yeah, yeah. think, just <laughs> think about like good old, good action, modern action games where you have enemies with certain attack patterns, but then they also you will evade your attacks, they will counter you, and they, we can do all kinds of these crazy things. At least not entirely yet, but that's something we plan to do anyway, and be on a good way here. We have a good basis for that. We already have reactions. We can make a reaction where the player will just evade your attack, will circle you around, and will just attack you from behind. That's something we can mm -hmm. do. So that's that's especially something for the um, for the like player enemies that you can yeah. face. I mean, the, uh, those can have I mean incredible. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm I'm so patterns. looking forward to those enemies. I think that's what will be one of the high points of the of the entire game. I think just actually I mean, fighting other avatars that are really good in the game. That's actually why I think that. Uh, the true avatar perk people are really in for a treat because I'm getting some of yeah, the yeah, most was, amazing enemies, I think. Uh, I was just about to say that, but uh, um, sadly, Seizo isn't here right now. Yeah, but well, he's he's going to love his guest role, I'm pretty sure. We will make sure yeah. he will get the most amazing guest role in CrossCode, for sure. I mean, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> just as amazing as other uh, amazing true avatar. Amazinger. More amazinger. Amazinger. Yes. Anyway. More amazing. 
No amazing. Well, it's it's kind of also it's kind of also uh, um, like my my way of thanking of thanking him for being such a helpful uh, um, assist character in Falda's story. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Exactly. I mean, he was really helpful in 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 certain mm. boss fights. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, any other questions or comments? Uh, the bowels bounce from walls. Would they also bounce from the guard shield? Actually, no. The guard shield currently works in a way that they don't make the ball bounce, but uh, they would just destroy them. Something we could change, though. I'm not perfectly I mean, sure. I mean, the the guard is not really used to reflect projectiles to make them hit the enemies. That's, that's something that's, you're targeting um, at. I mean, we could um, use that for certain... Oh, oh you mean the the guard shield of, of Leia? Well, I, I think it would be a good idea to make this, this for like um, some some guard special uh, special moves that could reflect projectiles. Mm. Or I think if it's you... Uh, um, yeah, might be... But you have to be careful well, there, you, because yeah, uh, okay. if you just can reflect arbitrary projectiles, something that can very easily break the game. Um, yeah, I think it's something, true. I think what we're actually planning to do is there are certain projectiles from enemies that you, which are, cap which you can reflect. So they are like designed to be reflectable. And it mm. will not be, I've it will not happen with the regular shield, but uh, there will be the shield cancel thing, uh, where you can just Block cancel certain enemy actions. Uh, you can't just use the same for projectiles to reflect them. That's something. You right. mean the the perfect guard, basically. Yes, the perfect guard, essentially. So it's like that you, uh, yes, you have to essentially guard at the right time uh, to reflect the projectiles. So mean, they're, that they're would be a good a good tutorial thing, or for like for like some puzzles. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we could also use the same for puzzles. Actually, that that's actually something we might do as well, that we can also use the same feature for puzzles, because that's actually something you will not learn in the skill tree. We'll just get it enabled somewhere along the adventure. So we yeah. can actually use this in dungeons. Like, we still have to decide where ex when exactly we will add this. But yeah, um, that will be one way to reflect um, attacks. Project dots. Mm hmm and um there's some silly guy who who asks for certain trees uh, in the game which i absolutely cannot understand what trees i mean there are many trees in crosscode yeah but they are like specially formed trees but i i see no reason why we would ever add something like this yeah it's like a it's like a crime against nature weird <sighs> okay guys uh, actually we are we already have over two hours, but we are actually are pretty close to getting the enemy somewhat done. Uh, let's just implement the bubble shoot now. Uh, um, by the way, um, since we are almost yes. done with the normal stream, I think we should. Um, you could uh, already think about something we could draw today, if you have yeah. any ideas. So just post them or. No, um, you mean like people? Yeah, sure, people. If you have any ideas of what we're gonna draw after the stream, just yeah, as soon as said. And meanwhile, I'm just going to implement this action. So, bubble shoot consists of uh, showing a certain animation, which is the pre-shoot, if you remember, that's the one we defined here, um, which is exactly the same as the damage pose. Uh, we also, I'm just only going to make it flash. So, to make an enemy flash red, I'm just going to show an effect, which is, I think, enemy. Angry or rank with two actually that's probably not the best effect, but it works for now um, Duration minus one means it will run forever as is documented here. Look at this documentation. Holy shit and um, Then we're just gonna wait for a couple of time for like a fraction of a second So to just telegraph the attack a bit and then we're gonna use the clear effect option to just remove any effect that has been shown really Now clear Clear, not clear. 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 Er. Er. So, um, uh, by the way, um, uh, Atlesa has already made a straw poll, and I think her first, the first choice, uh, Ace Attorney crossover. She, um, I mean, we did that once, but I guess we could also make. There's uh, more. Yes, we can do um, 
wie heißt der Deer from G Egyptian Mr. Freeze as the uh, pros prosecutor? Prosecutor, ja. Yeah. Prosecutor. Pro pro as a procrastinator. No, no pro wait. Pro <laughs> prosecutor, yeah. Yes. I mean, this whole thing is a procrastination phase, actually, if you think about it. And then we got, uh, of course, uh, Captain Jed as the judge. Captain Jed. Uh, judge Jed. Judge Jed. <laughs> judge, oh, gosh. Judge Jed. I am the law. Um, and the other choice is, of course, the brother. Hedgehog. Yeah, he's called Satoshi, by the way. <laughs> Satoshi. So I think it Pirate layer. Satoshi. Bison drawing. Pirate. I'm I think it, it. I think it. It should be Shizuka's brother, uh, Satoshi, throwing pokeballs. Get it? <laughs> Great. I'm gonna go for yes. the. <laughs> Everybody's going for pirate layer. Oh man! Oh, it's these random ideas. It's okay. Whatever. I'm, it's cool. Okay, so I mean, um, I, I I mean, I was thinking about like maybe because oh no oh no wait we we can do that next week. Forget it. Mm. Like doing. Guys, let's whatever. just wrap up this attack. So let's get it over with. Um, here's the animation with a short preparation animation and then the actual shoot, which happens here after we show the shoot animation. We are just gonna spawn. First, no, that's not. Uh, let's just look for balls. Here we go. There, ball. So there's like shoot ball and shoot ball range. Shoot ball is good. Shoot ball range is better because it makes you shoot <coughs> many balls. So um, the ball name is bubble. The alignment, I would say, is just um, yeah, it's center. Or well, let's now let's say bottom and to make it 12 high. So that's like the default height for projectors. I just know it by heart. Uh, direction is not fixed, it's just the viewing directions if not defined, as I said here, and it's not decent, it's not documented anyway. Okay, the center angle is interesting, that means in what angle do we actually shoot this ball? I will just make a very small angle of 10%, it's like 10% of a cycle, might even be too much, but yeah. So like, we just shoot bubbles in that kind of angle away. Um, the start angle is not defined, that defines like how the angle is aligned, the viewing direction. If you don't define anything, it's like center around the viewing direction. That's perfect. And the bow count, yeah. How many bubbles should it show? Shoot, let's just say like eight, maybe a bit much, maybe six. I think that's a good number. Uh, duration is interesting. This defines how long it will take to shoot these bubbles. If you say zero, it means just all out at the same time. If you say uh, like one second, it would just shoot them one after the other over the total time span of one second. Um, I think I will just make it like very quick, like in 0 0.2 seconds, just bubble out six bubbles. That's good. He can specify if it's clockwise or counterclockwise, uh, which I don't care, so we just leave it to false. Um, flip left face, that's, um, yeah, that's actually kind of like a detailed, actually that should be bool, not a number. Oh no, it's not. It's actually the number of few directions. That's cool. Um, this one actually defines if. Uh, let's not not explain this one. It's it's very special and it's not important here. So I'm just gonna save this and let's see if it works. Oh, like to truly be, it's no problem if you miss to backers. I mean, our marketing is hard and it's difficult to make everybody on the planet know your project. So, but it's, yeah. it's thanks a lot for getting early access. That helps us out a lot as well. So, thanks. Um, so, here we got our enemy. I'm going to shoot it. I hope it will counter now. Attack me. Come on, show, it. show me the bubbles. Please don't crash. Oh, Felix, you are getting greeted by some or by some random person named Star Mazer. Oh, it's a Star Mazer. A Star Mazer in the chat. Hi, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Star Mazers. Hi, Star Mazer, How guys. are you doing? Or guy. We are currently implementing your enemies. Or Look at all these scary options we have here. So many. So many options. It's horrible. Okay. Um, actually, no attack is done right now. And I know why it is. It's because um, we don't have... Um, that's actually the boss. I'm going to back to the... Seahorse we're currently working on. So um, here, I, I didn't specify the proper action here. There's no jump kick, there's only bubble shoot. Safe. 
back to the game. Here we go. So, who from Star Meter is here anyway? Is it Don? Is it uh, maybe Austin? Is it Cass? Any one of you? So, um, mm, the stream is showing no connections, that's weird. Okay, so let's attack, uh, let's see if we now see some bubbles. Yes, here we go, guys. Look, it's bubbles. Man, they're pretty um, high. I think, I, I think unless I mean Steam, like the oh, Steam platform. Okay. Yeah, it's it, it's really confusing because Steam and Stream is is really uh, easy mm. to confuse. So look, guys, it's um, yeah, it's amazing. It's Yay. bubbles. Actually, what I don't like now is that these bubbles they don't really follow the player effectively yeah. enough, and that was fine for the boss because he just spammed bubbles over the place. But this one doesn't, so I'm just make them more homing. I I increase the steering degree. Frigging bubbles. Frigging. Actually, I, I'm just going to close the boss before I now start modifying the boss enemy. Um, flipping bubbles. Oh, hey, yeah, uh, it's Kaz. Hey, cool to see you here. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to reduce the adjust time so that will start following the player more quickly. The steering degree I will increase as well. So like 0 0.5. Let's just check it. Actually, that's something if you set it high, it will just immediately be a perfectly homing missile if you don't overdo it. So, oh yes, Don had bursty. I actually totally missed to say congratulations. I'm kind of sorry. I mean, oh, wow. if uh, please, uh, happy bursty, Don. If you're kind of watching that, if not, then please tell Don. I probably was just going to tell him. Yeah, happy birthday. Uh, by a late happy Twitter, birthday from all like, of us. Yes, from all of Radical Fish Games, obviously. So, yeah, I kind of was like kind of distracted yesterday, so I kind of missed it. I'm sorry about that. So, um, come on, shoot the bubbles. Now that's more like it. Look, now they're actually following me. And they're really pesky. Maybe hey, that's one of these enemies where actually you probably want to just block them because um, dodging them is kind of pointless. So just keep following. Yeah. Them. Well, it depends if you, if you have a good. Oh, I'm um, already dead. If you have a good uh, flash step, then, then you I'm might there. be able to dodge through them. Yeah, yeah, might be. Oh well, maybe not because they're following you pretty good. Well, okay. Well, well, well. I mean, the, the big problem is if you dodge past them and see that, and see that they still follow you, then it's much harder to actually block them then because they have yeah. spread more. Yeah, so it's best to just block them immediately. So, we got a new enemy, guys. It's, of course, the thing with enemies, you have the first version run pretty quickly, but then you have to polish them to make them actually enjoyable. Um, I mean, it's the same but guys, we got one enemy implemented from scratch during the tutorial, during the stream. Isn't that awesome? So, you can see a lot of work went to the system. So, we have a lot of details already figured out. So, it actually goes pretty quick. I actually was pretty surprised I managed to implement an enemy a day this week. Mm -hmm. Like, two enemies at least. So, that yes. that's actually that's pretty awesome. Well. So, um, that means you can expect a lot of enemies in Crash Code, essentially. A lot of variation, hopefully. Okay. Um, um, Stefan wants me to show some maps. I actually can do that very quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if... Did you push something, Stefan? Uh, so... Um, Peter Nerlich, I, I remember this name. Who was this guy? Damn it. Uh, I don't know. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Bad at names. So anyway, oh. 
did something? No, there's nothing. But uh, I can just show what we have been working on. Yeah, of course. Um, um, there's also a question uh, before we start with that. Mm -hmm. So since it's based on a world of an MMO, will NPCs send you instant messages or messages? <laughs> That's an interesting uh, yeah, interesting point. Actually, yeah. should, we probably should do something like this that people can just send you instant messages. But it's, uh, we should try to make it simple that we don't make a huge system about that because it will be a distraction again. But for communication purposes, it would make sense to have that. It's just it would feel more like an MMO in that sense anyway. Now we think about it. <coughs> I think he might just display irregular dialogues inside of kind of like augmented reality boxes. How would that be? Kind of like how Sergei looked like. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, it's it's essentially, would, it would just be like a different uh, face sets. So that might work. Because then you have like essentially the same dialogue system. It's kind of like you get like like a medical solid uh, side message and then, jib jib, then you zoom in and then you get like side menace message dialogue somewhere randomly. Uh, but you could also use side messages. But the thing about side messages, you don't want to use them all the time because sometimes you want your messages to block. And uh, that's why I'm thinking about how to integrate it in the regular dialogues. But uh, that's an interesting suggestion anyway. Yeah. So, where was I? I wanted to show maps exactly. Uh, let me just start cross code. Let me just switch to cross code. And let me just teleport to the new map that Stefan is currently working on. Um, doop -doop, doop, no, it's like Bergen Trail uh, Pass 2. So, I mean, that's still work in progress, so don't, don't wonder why this is so empty. Oh my gosh, they are clouds, now I see them. Amazing. Yes, we got like the perfect background pattern already. <laughs> Actually, I love this idea. I didn't see this. Having like cliffs in the background, this is, this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Awesome idea, hey, Stefan. Actually, we can use parallaxes. We can make this one actually move faster it's uh, than the it's background. Kinda like, it's this kinda like in... Um, um, I like. I think in 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 Zelda they, they yeah they, yeah in they Zelda do they do this things, right. Man, this is awesome. Let's do this. Let's make different layers, Stefan. Like one for the cliffs here, and then another one in the background for the extra lower. Mm -hmm. Oh, this will be so amazing. This will be awesome. Mm -hmm. We yeah. I, I, I can figure something out for that. That shouldn't be much. Is it, uh, but it's it's a rather small map, right? It's um. That's like I think it's it over has here. two. No, it's okay. I mean, it's I mean, probably it's uh, just going up very much. I mean, not really small. I mean, but it has like two main. I mean, I'm I'm a bit behind in the in the, in the stream, but I sh I could just uh, look it up on Actually, the. I think about it. Yeah, but you know, we don't have to create huge huge maps all the time because no, the it's, trail is not it, supposed to be it, as it, large as our Ultramaria. It, anyway. it it wasn't supposed to be criticism. It was just um, a, a question, more like okay, like uh, curiosity, because I haven't. Uh, Really watch it a lot. Yeah, it has like two two big um, two big areas or larger areas to um, traverse. Yeah, I actually agree. So we should probably we should probably keep maps rather small so we just get the work mm -hmm. done. We can extend I mean maps the, actually. That's some that's an option in I the mean worst case. The other map um, that I made is is a bit uh, a bit bigger, but that's more like the <laughs> it's first uh, a meeting area and second it's. Uh, yeah, pseudo race. Don't worry, it won't take that long to create those backgrounds. That's um, that's something we can do in a short time. The engine is there; yeah. it's just creating graphics, and we actually can just recycle a lot of the cliff graphics here <laughs> for that. That's actually the awesome thing. So um, no worries. We will, mm -hmm. we will we will deliver something at the end of next, uh, the beginning of July, promised. It might just miss some of the features we promised, but uh, yeah. What can Let's you do? <laughs> it's like you define milestones to not reach them, <laughs> to get pretty close. <laughs> anyway, okay. So that's uh, something that Stefan has been working on. Um, mm -hmm. All right. The other maps, uh, 
the the first map is uh, is oh yeah finished. sure let's let's also show uh, hand I mean, edition. I mean it's uh, I I can't really watch all that all that well right now because as I said the stream is like 10 15 seconds behind or something yeah so, but I can but I'm I can just quickly. gonna I'm just gonna assume that that you are just walking onto just, the land, so. I'm just uh, loaded right now. Wait, Bergen Trail. Mm -hmm. uh, test one entrance. Teleport. Here we go. I mean, I, I I still have to implement some of the small details that that you talked um, about today, like those wall thingies. Why the but otherwise it's loading like forever? What is going on? Because. By the way, um, I've I've managed to to create the map with less than 500 entities. Are you serious? You can we went over 500 already. No, less than 500. Okay. That 477. That's good. <laughs> it's like to be expected. Yeah, and <laughs> I mean, there will be a few more entities for like uh, items uh, for like enemy spawners and stuff. But something is wrong. Otherwise That's something is weird here because I cannot teleport to that map. I don't know what's going on here, and I don't get an it error message. It should have a, it should have a spawner. So yeah, like, uh, maybe uh, there's maybe there's a bug. Let me just start it from the game here. I'm just gonna switch back to monitor. Uh, um. You can also go to 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 Stefan's map. It goes through the um, southern exit. Yeah, never mind. It might just be some issue with my system right now here. Um, maybe I broke something by mistake. Uh, Tim, do we have more questions? Nope. Um, I'm kind of... Let me just uh, reload the stream real quick. Maybe it's then... Because I want to see if you, if you manage to, to reach all the... All the two, all the two treasure chests. Well, actually, it's it's not all that hard to reach them, but I mean, <laughs> it works now. God damn it! Don't tell me now we get all the loading problems with uh, the standalone version. That oh, kind of bugs me anyway. Woohoo! So you can see it's like kind of slow because I'm not having the optimized rendering mode here. But whoa, it looks really nice. I like it. Uh, Again, uh, like it's a small, fe small oh, bit yeah. of feedback here. Uh, on the very left side, you will see the Sunus tree. You place destructibles too close to the edge. I would suggest to not place them too close to the edge so people can see the edge uh, better. Again, here, but, um, like well, if you go on the very left side of the map, there's also like mm -hmm. a tree exactly over the edge, something we should try to avoid if possible. It's just uh, that. Oh that, oh, that part, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I had paid attention to that most of the time, but on that... Yeah, yeah, yeah I, just, I see. You always you miss it here and there if it happens. I mean, I, I think I um, just made it there because I thought, well... It's, New jump it's panels! Not something, Whee! So, okay. Uh, it's, not something you can, it's not something you need to jump on. That's why I thought, yeah, it's not that important. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I would always right. do it because it... Whoa. How am I supposed to... Okay, this hmm? is raised. That got quick, got, oh my gosh, how, how? Hmm? What's your problem? I'm trying to figure out how to get to this chest. Just jump. Can I jump that well, far? I'm oh, I'm higher yeah. up. Oh gosh, damn it. Okay. Yeah. Look, I didn't even see that, Hannah. Like, I'm a freaking developer. <laughs> okay, yeah. I guess, I Come guess on, people. Oh man. That, um, that's, that's a challenge you jump. You have to do it I mean, right. That's something you should be able to see because, I mean, you can see that the the, the differing. Yeah, if, you can, uh, but in practice, people don't. Also, this jump is too challenging. I would make it easier, because I yeah, just I jump. Make, make it easier, please. Uh, Felix. Yeah. Felix, you just you just need to jump straight, not. I did. And you will see it next. Right there's a delay. Yeah, not pre pixel precise, but there lies exactly the problem. <laughs> yeah, okay, true. I will. I think I, I can fix that pretty easily. Yeah, let's see, like the third it. time I try it, that's too difficult. Yeah. Kind of. Felix, just, just dash cancel. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's not supposed to be an option. You know what? I would just jetpack because I'm a freaking developer. Screw you all. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I got an achievement. Awesome. Uh, anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in if you, got the, um, if you can reach all the destructibles on the right side. On the right side? Yeah, um, at the chest, basically. Okay, let me check. Uh, have to have to have to of it? Oh, now I see it. <laughs> That's uh, 
Yeah, Sadesh can say, look, I can do it. Yeah, I, w I will definitely make that jump easier now that you say. I mean, I've noticed it myself, but but since, since I, <laughs> I know how to wait, reach wait, it, wait, I wait, 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 wait. I see, but I see that you designed this platform for one particular purpose. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, that's a clever idea. I like it. <laughs> I um, do, uh, do you mean the the one south of the chest? Yeah, yeah, that's that one is. I like this one. That's cool. Please, that keep this one. This is awesome. But make it easier to um, jump on. Felix, yeah? Fe Felix. The, the you actually found an, an an alternative method to reach them. I didn't even I didn't even think of that. Lloyd, did because you think about bouncing on, on trees or something? Yeah, on the on the on the tree on the left. You can yeah. you can bounce them on actually the Actually I consider this almost bad design because trees are not like mm, I don't know. But yeah but it they, works. But, but they do reflect. That's I mean, true, I guess. Uh, I guess they do. I mean And that's what the preview is there for, I guess. It helps you to, to determine Exactly. That. I mean the I mean you can you can check out the 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 ball path with the preview line, so yeah, it's that's actually true. yeah, it's okay. And also, but and, and also, it's those those uh, destructibles are pretty optional. I mean, it's even if you don't reach them, yeah, it's yeah. not like you are it's missing okay. something. You can keep it. Important. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want my complicated uh, item destructible no. optionals. Ah, yeah, that was actually another situation where why can't I jump there? Oh god, that makes sense. Uh. Cross could be full of these situations, I'm afraid. Yeah, so people, I mean, people might, uh, uh, people should be able to get used to that. I mean, it's it's part of the perspective and, uh, oh, you mean that one? Yeah, I've thought of that as well, but then again, you see it kind of with the... But are you supposed to jump on this one in the first place? No, right? Maybe just... Uh -huh. um, on the left side here, on this higher platform, you're not supposed to jump on this. No, one. no, no, you're, you're not supposed to jump. So there. maybe just uh, make the arc um, larger here, that it doesn't look the like... The arc larger, could. that... yeah, of yeah, course. That would like slightly improve it. And because it's not necessary to have this kind of thing there. Yeah, true, true. You see, that's like the kind of stuff we usually discuss to kind of avoid these high perception problems. The, the, the stupid thing, you always need at least two people to do that, because the one who designs the maps don't see, will never see the issues. <laughs> it's always like this. Right. I mean, I try to uh, to keep those things in mind when I do the maps, but then yeah. I, 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 I often think like, hmm, well, it's not that bad. I, th I, I think it works, but of yeah. course I designed the map, so I don't really. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, if there is a simple solution like this, just make remove yeah, the, uh, right. the the thing there because it's not really necessary. Then I would do it. Just make it mm. uh, far enough that uh, you don't get the impression you could just jump over there, like more than six tiles. I think. I th I think uh, um, what's also a problem with this thing is um, that, like th this um, dry, dusty uh, ground type, mm. is 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 normally something that we use to um, to to give hints to players that this is a, a kind of place where people yeah. might Map go over more. Maybe you can just make crasher because you have crasher, yeah. so you might as well just add crasher because then people don't yeah, get this impression. Yeah, true. But uh, but the thing is, on 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 this tile set, the mm -hmm. the dusty mm -hmm. path is much more common because it's not yeah. such a. But it's randomly, uh, right? It's randomly. You can decide where you place the crest. There will always yeah, be some course. crest, and you might as well just add crest to the parts where you say don't jump there. You might just do that. It mm -hmm. might of work course. on a subconscious level because it's random. Of no course. matter, you can just place it as you want. You just place it in a way that works, in a good way for the player. I think, right? Mm -hmm. True. Yes, yes, CC. I'm running around. Can I put on sparkle boots? I can. Yeah, you should. Sparkly boots. Sparkly, sparkling. Yee. Sparkly boots. Wee. Sparkly boots. Wee. They even work with Does the jump whatever panels. Isn't that awesome? Does whatever a sparkly boot can. Wee. Sparkle, sparkle, Wee. sparkle, sparkle. It's sparkle. It's fabulous, fabulous, and all that. Wee. Okay. All right, guys. Um. I think this concludes him, our sparkle. proper game development phase. So now Everything we're gonna start. To us. <laughs> now we're gonna do the improper drawing random stuff phase. Um, whoa, whoa! Something spoiled the the game code. Why would you do this? At least ban yourself right now. Okay, I don't care. Yeah, it's not really <laughs> all that secret. <laughs> I'm just making fun seriously. But please don't 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 post it in forums. Stop. Yeah, you can send PMs. I mean, you I can. Want. Yeah, I mean, we're not gonna 
be like uh, trying to. And we got Pirate Lair. Oh no. Any more detailed suggestions how our Pirate Lair should look like? Um, maybe, she should, maybe she should uh, like wear, wear a, a, a straw hat and have gummy powers. Because that's what pirates have, right? Hmm? Like a straw hat and gummy powers. Like elasto powers. Stretchy arms. No, 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 no one piece. I don't I don't I don't want I mean piece. sorry. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but it's it had a, a oh, world record yes. recently. Let me just uh, post the polls again. So people can still vote. If you now get like enough people you can still change the result. Like I give you like one minute I don't have anything to drink. God damn it. What I gonna do? Mixery Kai Pirinha, should I drink some alcohol? I think more I think most people would would appreciate it. Maybe it will increase my results. <laughs> don't I mean, ask me why I have this kind of stuff uh, stacked right next to my desk. Um uh, wasn't there this this, this uh, uh, XKCD uh, comic strip about the uh, Bar alcohol? Bar uh, Bar Bar Peak, Peak, right? Yeah. With a certain alcohol level, you get like super programming skills. I can't say. I mean, it's me. it, it's not just programming skills. It's like a, a, a certain very low alcohol level um, improves your uh, reflexes and thought process. I think, but it's. It's really low. It's a really yes, I delicate thing. I go thing. home by bike, so no trouble. I can just uh, get, get on my bike and kill everybody on with it because I drank and drive. <laughs> yes. Kampfradler. I think it's, strictly speaking, it's not allowed to, to ride your bike when you're drunk. It's not, yeah. But whatever. They can just take my, my driving license. Next day, I'm going to keep riding my bike. <laughs> yes. True. That's, <laughs> that's always something that confused me. I mean, you you can use uh, lose your driver's license for your car yeah. when uh, doing uh, traffic accidents or traffic uh, mistakes in uh, on your bike. But I mean, you can still ride your bike. Mm -hmm. So so if you don't even use your car all that often, then yeah, okay, whatever, man. <laughs> it's. Nostrybot said, fun, if, I fun. Will, if you will hang up at the Star Maze stream later, you mean later today or tomorrow or next week? Uh, probably tomorrow, right? I think they have it on Monday. It, it really depends. The thing about next week is that we will be very busy because we have a milestone to meet. So it might be that next week we won't be very active. We might just actually drop next week's stream. It actually depends um, how busy we will actually be. And most likely... Oopala, sorry, we will be very busy, so you can expect um, maybe there's no death stream next week. So just uh, be aware of that. Um, but anyway, so is there any change in the result? <laughs> yeah, there's like one more vote for Pirate Lair. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I have voted for something different. I'm better than everyone. Hmm. Ah, it was Tuesdays, right, not Mondays, yeah. Friday. Now I, now I, I have an earworm of this terrible, terrible song from a few years back. Yes, you wonders. We are Germans and we, are, we, don't, we cannot perfectly fake native English. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> it's not that easy. <laughs> that, that would be almost like a superpower, right? I know people can Force do it jump. anyway, but... I actually pretty much suck at language, so whatever. I mean, you can still understand me, I hope. Uh, what? Ich nicht understehen dich. <laughs> this was very English. Very, very ja, English ja. indeed, Hanno. Very English. So, um... Right. Uh, pirate layer, I, it is, I guess. Um, so... So she will have like um eye patch. Does it nail? A parrot and room. What? A and a parrot. A parrot, yes, parrots are important. 
We okay, so let's see. Felix, be more be more excited about pirate layer. Well, I wanted to draw something Ace Attorney here <laughs> You know I what? Mean, Maybe we just add a hedgehog sandwich somewhere, so at least we got that one wrapped. <laughs> wrapped. Uh, no, I don't think that wrapped. works. <laughs> Do you mean a, a hedgehog wrap? Hedgehog wrap. Oh, not a sandwich. And not and not to be confused with a hedgehog wrap. Oh. Yo yo, I I, I guess you have uh, uh, you have some head hedgehog wraps in 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 mm. Sonic OSTs. I think, maybe. I'm not sure. Mm. Are they wrapping in, in in the Sonic the Hedgehog OSTs? What is? Are they uh, are they wrapping in the Sonic the Hedgehog OSTs, like uh, soundtracks? Do they wrapping already? I think they I have. Don't to, I have to go I there if you want to get uh, if they want to uh, reach the maximum level of cheesiness, which I really usually, usually try to do in my song. They do that already because they have those really cheesy uh, rock. Yeah, uh, but songs. if they have to top that, they have to do rapping, I guess, <laughs> or something like this. I mean, but but they, but they will never be as good as the German in quotation marks uh, Naruto opening. Mm. So, like, oh Sakura yeah, beautiful. oh gosh, damn it. <laughs> Sasuke is really cool. Maybe we should just post this opening here because it's so amazingly bad. <laughs> it's so, yeah, we should definitely. I mean, somebody, Shiro, uh, somebody uh, searched the original German Naruto opening, it's amazing. Everybody should have seen that. Yeah, uh, uh, Stefan said that, yeah, Sonic always has cheesy rock music, yep. but I guess it, they, they don't have rap music, so okay, well, fair, fair enough. Well. There is a German dub of, of Naruto. It's pretty bad, and the first uh, the first opening was terrible. It was basically, I, I think it was the the opening for the German and the Spanish version, but it was English. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> and it yeah. was very bad English. I really. <laughs> yeah, and it and it had some very some very bad sounding Japanese as well. Yeah, very <laughs> very bad sounding Japanese. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. Oh no, Stefan has to oh, bookmarks. Book yes, <laughs> can't be so. <served. laughs> <laughs> I expected that. <laughs> really, how many views do we actually have today? Uh, I don't even uh, check. Only around, o only around, f uh, only around fifty. But only, I guess it's still pretty good. So, <laughs> I mean, it's 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 still pretty pretty good, co especially considering DK is streaming. Meanwhile, so oh, DK, don't do this. No, no. Okay. Not now, yeah, we we should um, talk to DK and MG before streaming in the future <laughs> and say they know when we do stream. stream. We are very, we have I a very uh, predictable schedule so far. <laughs> anyway, and and especially if we could say like, guys, I know you do this for a living partially, but <laughs> please don't do this. <laughs> don't do this to us. <laughs> uh, the the wrapping is opening call comes later if you can call it that. <laughs> it comes near the. You know what? I'm just gonna watch this now for anybody to enjoy and doing stream. No, <laughs> yes. you monster! It's not long. It's long. It's short enough to to withstand that. Yeah, true. Twelve years ago, and I think the new members will just plummet. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to five now. God. Hey yo, my ninja clan, ninja clan, here I stand, or something. <laughs> it's, it's so, it's so uh, embarrassing that I kind of know some of the lyrics. I'll be okay. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And I and I love how they how they actually just just paste it together so. Random scenes from the series to create this stupid. Bam! Bouncy pictures! Ah. Okay, this was amazing, ah. guys. I'm so inspired. Let's now let's draw a pirate layer. <laughs> okay, um. To draw of a course, pirate we layer, have. We're first yeah, gonna draw uh, a layer. I can do that. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's terrible. I th I'm still seeing the, the damn opening because it's lagging behind. Okay, uh, any any awesome pirate pose? I'm gonna first gonna do some references for pirates. 
I I guess she should be like at a steering wheel of a ship in one hand. Too complicated. And, the, and, and okay, then she would have a bottle of rum, rum or like bottle of rum. Let's, soda. Let's try to add yeah. as many cliches uh, as possible in one one picture. Bottle and, of rum in um, one hand and a pirate on the shoulder and. Uh, um, I was just thinking she would oh, she should, should stand on a ship like uh, one leg stretched. Or, or, uh, stretch wide or Felix, yeah? Felix, maybe she is not a, a classic pirate, but a member of the pirate party. Nope, that's boring. They don't look. <laughs> they don't look cool. They don't have. Uh, yeah. uh, they don't have uh, like. Uh, um, I mean, some of them are pretty. <laughs> yes. yes. They're, they're, uh, okay. But they're not awesome. So. True. I mean, if they were, they would actually be in, you know, the parliament. Yeah. And not like almost forgotten. Though so I'm pretty sure that doesn't account for awesomeness. True. Yeah, like they're also laying pair, but I'm just going to improvise, whatever. So, um, okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's start with um, Circle. That's, that's, that's actually a great idea from Trixie. Mm. Um, yeah. A parrot on the shoulder, or perhaps a, a meerkat digs out of her shoulder, di disguised as a parrot. A what? A meerkat? A meerkat digs out of her shoulder, disguised as a parrot. This sounds rather like painful, I but I know that they actually dig out of whatever, so it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, they also dig out of the laser yeah. bridges, so mm -hmm. I mean... So that's cool. Okay, I'm going to do that. Let's see. Um... I mean, an, a, a, another idea I had, but that would be m more fitting for next week, I think, would be like uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure shout out for Leah. <laughs> okay. Because I, I kind of have an idea for that, but I mean, it, it might be difficult for you because you try to keep it simple. It. Yeah, yeah, maybe I maybe you have I to mean, show me something and then I can do that. I mean, it it would be rather simple. It would be like uh, Leah with a impossible hat. That kind of merges with her hair for some reason, because it's so Jojo. <laughs> okay. And then some, some other character or creature behind her that uh, is basically her stand. And you don't know what a stand is, but it's awesome. Okay, that sounds sounds good enough. Um... And also a little fun fact, I had, a, I had an idea for a special attack for Leia based on Zavardo. Oh, da, Waldo. Zavardo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think I will. I, I should write it down in the document. Do that. So I'm gonna draw the basic face. Because I mean, we, we could have like a, a, a time stopping techniques, right? Um, the thing about time stopping is that something I don't want to have as an official game move because it would just no uh, no not as an it, um, it would rather be a part of a scripted not really scripted it would be part of the attack move like time stops she does something and the move itself will only if it's um, only stylish then yes then it's okay yeah it, it's it's only for style if it's only it's for only style for then it's okay but if it has um I don't want to have the slow motion to be have a huge yeah. impact on. Uh, the no, gameplay not. because that would just essentially if you have an MMO it does make sense the player can just uh, manipulate time that strongly. I mean there's like you kinda bend this rule because when you charge an attack we slow down time. That's kinda like mm -hmm. you can explain this that layer is like very that good at focusing me. at this point and then she everything perceives everything slower or something that like that. That reminds this. me um we still need to remove like uh, or rather implement a limit to the time stopping because at the moment you can just top the stop yeah. the time also you're generating it <laughs> that's something we got to fix oh really yes oh fuck i never, <laughs> never <laughs> there really about there about their bug reports for that and uh, uh yeah uh, something regular. and we still need a, a separate animation for the for the dash that doesn't work anymore like that, that, that people actually notice that the dash only works three times. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm kind of troubled with that later. one. Yeah, no. I wanted to do this earlier. We actually did one of them doing the dash stream, but it kind of doesn't work. The thing yeah. is, it's not easy to do. I, I kind of, to do this properly, I think I, re I rather would change the behavior of the dash in general. Mm, okay. The way it currently works is kind of 
I think I really have trouble finding an animation that actually works for that purpose, how it is right now. Just the possibility to just repeat it and make it fail every time. I'm not even sure I want to have it in there. Maybe you'll make something else, like, may I do it one time too much, you will have a slow animation, and then mm -hmm. a short delay where you cannot dash at all, and then you just dash normally again, even that's if you keep pressing. I think that's even, I think that's even better, because it's more... Um, it's more it's like, more friendly for you know, people who just start playing the game, and people who are at once still have to be careful. So it's kind of like a trade-off, I think. The current system might be maybe a bit too make it too essential to know about the dash limit. I even thought about a system where like the the third dash is uh, has automatically a uh, wait time integrated, but I think that might actually be troublesome because some people might optimize their game behavior to use three dashes, and then this will screw it up. So, even though that one would be the easiest and best to animate. Having like two dashes and then a third dash in a special way that maybe even goes a bit far further, but then there's a short delay after this one. I actually would really like to do that, but I'm pretty sure if I do, people will complain. So, so and uh, Leah must kind of look like a pirate. That means I probably will give her uh, some code. Does this look good? Sound good, I mean. Uh, you mean what? A code? A code. To be more, look more like a pirate. So not just an eye patch. Okay. But um, maybe some dark gray what? code. Code like it would jacket, make sense, yeah, and uh, a head, obviously, right? But I think I will integrate the head inside uh, around her horns and stuff. Uh, by the way, I think we should go into uh, questions again. Oh, okay, if there are questions, we... please. Um, did we answer the question while you're running <sighs> around? Can you pl uh, can you put? No, wait, that's that's wrong. Uh, will you have rare, it rare items hidden in these kind of spots? And I think he meant like. Uh, hidden spots or something. I mean, we don't want to put um, like I, like treasure chests that, um, that are not visible. I mean, that's kind of cheap, and we want to not. We want to not, uh, or rather, we want to av uh, avoid doing such things because it's yeah. not really a challenge. It's more like, yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> but, mm. but we will definitely have a hidden treasures that is like uh, hard to reach. I mean, we already have that in the bottom part area. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then another question that's more recent. Um, I have an actual game dev question instead of just randomly chatting. How do you guys sort out your design documents? Are you following some kind of general best practice or what? Well, I think we have some... Um, we have some... How, how do you say it in, in, in English? Like Bierdeckel? Bierdeckel? <laughs> yeah, it was a joke. Well, we 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 mostly use um, uh, Google do documents actually. Yeah, Google Docs. That's uh... <laughs> oh, a bit okay, get enough. No, um, yeah, we yeah, use Google. <laughs> we, we use Google documents exactly. Yeah, that's currently our current approach. I mean, we started doing having a wiki in our private GitHub project, uh, but turned out that modifying wikis is kind of a pain. So now most uh, permanent documents yeah. are really in our Google documents. And uh, or Google Sheets for some errors. Sometimes the sheet is more useful, and um, mm -hmm. that's it essentially. Oh. <laughs> Will Leah have the option to say Muda? Muda, 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 <laughs> Muda, Muda, Muda. That would be would be a nice option she for it. <laughs> <laughs> she she might have the option to say Deine Muda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, are there any Easter eggs? Uh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you might, if you mean like shout outs to other to other things like games and animes and series, then yeah, quite a lot actually. Oh, but we we tried we try to be somewhat clever and try to keep it somewhat subtle. Subtle. We try time. at least. At least some people. We try at least. <laughs> some people try. <laughs> I try. <laughs> 
I mean, then again, I mean, uh, uh, Winter Claw isn't that subtle if you actually know. Yeah, yeah uh, that's, that's, that's that was pretty <laughs> obviously, I guess. Three out of ten? Oh, come on. It was a good one. <laughs> what? Which one? Uh, he said uh, three out of ten henne. Uh, I guess he, he he meant my deine Mutter joke. I think that, I, I think at least I think deine Mutter is at least uh, eight out of ten. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Walked right into that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we we actually did have uh, Easter eggs in the Easter. I mean, during Eastern. Like with the Easter egg event. Right, Felix? Yes. There will be probably a comeback of the Easter bunny. Uh, quotation Yay. mark, bunny, quotation mark. <laughs> quotation mark, bunny. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite the characters. Easter hedgehog. Yes. Even better than Manly, huh? Yeah, about the same, I'd say. It goes that way, okay. Hmm, but but will the other eye be visible, or or will the, will it just be like eye patch and you don't see anything? Yeah, I probably will change that. I'm just just thinking that because because like it's a bit too much. I mean, it might work. Yeah, it, it kind of doesn't look like it will work, so I will just change that. Just should slightly change the perspective by moving here, and I want to make you the could. wind move. Uh, very strongly to make it more epic and dramatic. So you could you could turn Leah into a steampunk air, uh, airship pirate and give her like an instead of an eye patch like a uh, not a monocle like a I know uh, I know what to mirror yeah, like we might do that. Hmm. <laughs> no, I just. I just uh, imagine. Mm. God damn it! This doesn't work. Like, if the wind moves like this, like, <sighs> God damn it! You, you should give her like those VIP uh, bracelets that uh, create those balls, but they should look very, like, um, old school steampunkish, like wood and <laughs> and uh, <laughs> copper. Like yellow metal. Things. I should do the same for the head, I guess, right? For the headgear then. <laughs> That's actually, yeah, I, I, yeah. I like this idea. Yeah. And uh, and I think you should, you might uh, do the same for, for the headgear, like uh, giving her, making the headgear not um, not gray, but, like brown, uh, yellow or, um, yellow orangish, mm -hmm. colored. But maybe then uh, it, it it wouldn't look very Leah anymore. It's no, it would work, I guess. But it's more work because I have to figure out colors, and I don't like to figure out colors. Really, I prefer to just keep the colors that I know work. Mm, true. You know, I prefer to, to keep everything like four colors and make Porteris gray all the time. You know, that's what I really liked about Porteris gray. No color problems, yeah. just four colors, that's it. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it was so great to sprite stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. That's when I realized that I'm I'm not a bad sprite. It's just that I can't work with colors. I mean, I, I don't have a feel for that. <laughs> Actually, so before when I, when I started uh, Porteris, Porteris Gray, I also thought like I was really bad with colors. But then I found some techniques and it kind of worked out. So mm, okay. it's not all that bad. Oh, shit. That's kind of a derp I. Oh no! Oh wait, it it works. No, dude, delay. Yeah, it's okay. Don't delay, judge. Yeah, don't delay, judge yeah. stuff that has been drawn just a couple of seconds before. Never do that because it will change. Yeah. Okay. I've I've just uh, realized. You, you see, there was a slight delay in my thought process as well because a few, like a second later, I was realizing. Wait, there's a delay. <laughs> Nonsense. You're going to give Leah a blue or a black beard? No beard. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? Should she get a beard? No, I don't think so. I mean, she should still be Leah. 
I mean, we have kind of, we have kind of, uh, we could have made a, a, a jet pirate thing. I mean, that would be way more obvious, right? Yeah, people should have trusted, but it's actually too easy almost. Yeah, true. Uh. Or like uh, pirate captain, uh, pirate Mr. Freeze. We should, Mr. Freeze. We, should really tr we should do more we Mr. Really Freeze concept art, yeah. And, and we should uh, do more different characters in our, in our art stream. I mean, yeah, that's true. It, I mean, we tried to do it's this. There again. Yeah, probably will. Uh, we should uh, emphasize in the suggestion. Like, at Lesser, uh, next time you do random suggestions, please give some love to the other characters. I mean, then again, uh, I mean, ah. if, you do the, if you do the Ace Attorney thing next time. Photoshop, you will, why are you so slow again? You can do like. Uh, oh, god damn it, it, guys. Um, just give me a second. I'm going to restart Photoshop. Photoshop right. is a very non powerful optimized replication. So, but um, you see, Felix, it's. I mean, Photoshop is 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 also a, a very low cost option, so it's justified. What? What? <laughs> Just see, because you state the opposite, the exact opposite of what is the truth doesn't make it funny. Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> it's. It's uh, ten. Out of, it's ten out of ten sarcasm, Felix. You gotta. That's like gotta very lazy jar sarcasm. It's uh, sarcasm. Yeah, it's, it's it's kind of like the it's kind Jar of like low hanging fruit. It's gonna talk Jarkism. like her now. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. It's a jar. It's it's like uh, sarcasm that's stored inside uh, inside pottery. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm not good at like this, but like but this. The, but but um, this all reminds me. I mean, we need to get to our uh, to our usual topic for this uh, time of the stream. I mean, anime. Yes, anime. I mean, the season almost ended. Which one? Today was. Yeah, like the. I, I think it's the summer. Oh, no, you mean the, like the, the general anime? Season. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like yeah, all, yeah, the spring season. They are synchronized. And it's, it's. Uh, I, th I think it ends next week because today we had. I mean, I have only seen the Unlimited Blade Works episode, and. I mean, it basically ended, but uh, there was another episode for an epilogue, so I guess it ends next week or something. Okay. Or maybe this week. Gonna make the head wooden more like. <laughs> wow, that's really a. Uh, <laughs> I really like it. A really badass already, right? <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> Don't forget the scar. I mean, yes, oh man, we should make the scar like really overkill for this one. And and uh, and she she should have like a stereotypical silly uh, symbol on her uh, head, like um, not not skull and crossbones, but like uh, what else should <coughs> we do instead of skull and crossbones? Balls. Yeah, bo yeah, just just make it a, b a ball. Yeah, f uh, Fate Zero is definitely much better than than uh, Stay Night and Unlimited Blade Works. I mean, Unlimited Blade Works was was very strong in the first season, but the second one, ugh. okay, <laughs> very weak characters. I mean, they basically had. Uh, I mean, Sh uh, Shiro was the main character, which is already a loss. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they lose pretty much. And and Saber was basic, was extremely underutilized. Mm. And then they had those silly uh, Rin getting tied up and almost getting abused nonsense. Whoops. That's also, yeah. I mean, you can you can do that effectively if you actually if you're Game of Thrones writing. <laughs> Uh, or maybe not. Uh, actu actually, maybe I, not. I actually I have to admit now I didn't see the new season, but I read something along the lines. So yeah. I know something happened, and people yeah, kind of don't like it. Something uh, happened that uh, that that didn't happen this way in the books. Mm -hmm. And I mean, but please don't spoil me. <laughs> I don't. I okay. mean. I, I will spoil you though that the Dawn storyline is the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. Holy crap! Okay, <laughs> it's seriously the worst. Ugh. 
I mean, they, they, they changed it completely, basically, and it's complete rubbish. Oh my gosh, okay, and it doesn't sound good. And I mean, it, it, it basically, it seems like an, it's, it seems like a, uh, like, how do you say it? Like some uh, adventure series from the 90s or 80s, like some, some really lighthearted stuff and really silly, like a buddy adventure medieval what? Okay. series. And it has some plot twists and some character interactions that make no sense. And <laughs> it's just terrible. And yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh. And the rest, I mean, the season is definitely the, the weakest season of, of all of them so far. But, uh, but it has some, some really good changes. And some really bad ones, too. Yeah, th most of them are really bad. I mean, yeah. What can you do? But I mean, it's okay, I guess. I'm just going to wait till you've seen it, too. <laughs> yeah, whenever that's going to happen. For some reason, I'm really mm. busy with something in these days. I wonder why that is. <laughs> strange. Yeah, it's it's weird, right? Yeah, I can't even watch Game of Thrones. Can't e <laughs> can't. We still haven't watched Lock Horizon. God damn it! And that's even somewhat related to our to cross -coast. Yeah, we can't even do that where we can say yeah, it's research, man. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, totally legit. I think. I think we should say Game of Thrones is also research, and then everyone will instantly panic because they, they fear that, that everyone will die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> Crosscode and Game of Thrones, not exactly the same kind of series. Yeah, not. I mean, um, one of the biggest criticisms for Game of Thrones in this season is that um, nobody dies. They, they to uh, it's the opposite. Um, okay. <laughs> they, 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 they they took the source material, like the novels, and they apparently thought to themselves, "Well, this is not dark and edgy enough, and there, there needs to be more suffering." Oh, that's bad. so. Just think about that. They they take a Song of Ice and Fire. The novels were there is tons of suffering and uh, what? Okay. And death. And, and, I think and like more say, suffering, yeah. more quotes. Let's make it harder. More suffering, more rape, more, more. More uh, dicks too, please. No. More, d more dicks. Well, of course. And boobs. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Boobs. Uh, I think the I think the the, the boob quota actually is lower than in the. I mean, okay. in the first season, it was um, it was worse, I think, mm, or yeah. not worse, like more frequent. But nowadays, not sure. But it's like something that people would decide: let's add less sexual content, but more violence, because it's better that way. People will complain yeah, less, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of the American thing, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually make our layers. Uh, ponytail a bit more uh, shaggy because she's a pirate. Yeah, right. That's she I cannot noticed. really. That's she cannot. Uh, she hasn't. Had, doesn't have time to comb her hair because she's too awesome. Yes. Uh, traveling the seas, of course, world. Yeah. Um, season five ha was weak overall, but it has a few very great episodes. Like um, Felix, episode mm -hmm. eight, mm -hmm. the end of episode eight, is something they changed a lot from the. Um, they changed from the from the books, or rather, they they showed something that you didn't see in the books. Okay. And it's amazing. It's one of the best things uh, of the whole five. series. Episode 5. Okay, I probably should no, see no, that. No, no, no. Not, not episode 5, episode 8. Oh, crap. Okay, then I have to watch a few more, yeah, I guess. I was thinking maybe I should watch yeah. this and then make a break again. <laughs> I mean, come on, Felix. You can watch them while you're eating something or so. Or so. That's true, actually. I mean, that's what I always do. Yeah, I should. But I also do stuff like watching news. Maybe I should stop doing that because I don't care about news, really. I shouldn't. No spoilers. <laughs> No spoilers in the chat, please. What? Did they spoil? I don't. I don't watch this in the chat anyway, so I'm okay. But other people might not be. Damn! I love this layer design. That's so awesome. 
It's awesome. I think we should read it. We <laughs> should we should make a skin DLC, a, a skin DLC for a pirate. Uh, Felix, yeah? actually, it makes a lot of sense to make this a skin DLC because we already have ninjas. Yeah, pirate ninjas. I mean, we have <laughs> like there we have I mean, two uh, the, the two uh, opposites, right? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Pirate versus ninja. <laughs> So Amazing. What about the so, pirates? so, and I decided to make like everything about Leia and all black. I don't. I, don't, I think I give her a code. Like I would just extend her regular code uh, to be longer. Mm -hmm. Then it will just all everything will fit together and everything will be wooden again. So we, because then it makes sense. Probably should sketch a bit ahead, so don't. Mess up the yeah, at Lessa, it's um, it's a it, um, it's a northern story actually, like in the far north, in, in episode eight, which I meant. We need to do X because, yeah, every business decision ever made. We need to do X because we have ninjas. Yes. <laughs> that sounds you about right. You should re rewrite the story and make Leah an evil uh, censored through, through all the story. I think this is like an like a jab at Game of Thrones that we need a more morally questionable main character. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, let's make uh, Leah some. Let's make Leah uh, like Littlefinger, but. <laughs> Which would be amazing because she would be Littlefinger despite only being able to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> worst, <laughs> worst, worst intriguous character ever. <laughs> this is this is so okay. That's earlier. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's ridiculous. the thing that you that's the thing that um, that you should draw next, Littlefinger, Leah. <laughs> yeah, like okay. just saying, just saying, like hi with a very clever expression. Yes, like that. That that's uh, let's put this on a list for an extreme or something, so people can vote for that. Or well, actually, I mean, um, on a more serious matter, I mean, you you could make Daenerys Leia, but then again, uh, the, that's <laughs> so obvious. Then you, then you would need to make her naked all the time. So it's <laughs> 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 okay. I I guess that's not true anymore, but still. Yeah. Oh wait, hmm. or like Leia on the throne of balls. <laughs> yes, we are from Germany. Yes, we are Everyone the Germans German. doing the German stream with the German English of the German accent and drawing non-German stuff because this is Japanese actually, I think. <laughs> well, the thing or is other. actually uh, on, a, on a certain side that I visit uh, at times, um, there is like categories for Western, mm -hmm. like in, and they, um, Western always means like drawn by someone who is not from from Japan. So, so even if the even, even if manga, the art style manga. is, so well, manga from South Korea is that Eastern enough? <laughs> uh, okay, I think Western is is only things that are drawn not in Asia or something. Okay, I don't know. Yeah. But thing is, e even if you completely emulate um, Eastern art style, it's still Western because it's not drawn in Japan. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's not Japan. If I mean, it's, it's not anime. If it's not in Japan. It's it's a definition. Really. Yeah. I can. Uh, some people think that's that way. Does it really surprise you, Urinstein? Uh, <laughs> what? I mean, it's it, it's not that kind of thing that that you might. What? What specific. surprised? What? I don't get it. I don't. What was the, <laughs> the comment? No, no, no. Uh, Say it. Uh, he said, "Aha, Henne visits porn sites confirmed." Mm. Yeah, obviously. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. And then pseudo, pseudo radius spoiler: most people visit porn sites. No fucking shit. <laughs> no way. <laughs> now somebody can randomly paste the internet as for porn video. Yes, of course. Just as a quickly m reminder, all things are in the interwebs. Okay. Um. Ah, so, uh, so she's sitting. 
She's not sitting. She's uh, having one leg stretched out and the other one ah. on the bottom. It's like a, a kick-ass pose. At least that's what I try to uh, have to you probably. Should, you should um, put uh, one leg on a treasure chest or something. Oh, that's good. Yeah, like on one of the hologram treasure chests. If that works. And also, I probably should add some clothes there. <laughs> make the make a hologram treasure chest, but in the color of the of wood or something. <laughs> Make no sense, but anyway. I, I mean, um, another idea would be like make a make a treasure chest that is kind of like somewhat opened and like a hedgehog nose is sticking out of it. <laughs> okay. Or oh, let's make like a, a let's add the hedgehog sandwich somewhere in that picture. Actually. Oh yeah, right. Damn it, we already <laughs> like fifteen minutes over our limit. Uh, I got it's gonna might be a long stream, guys. So, but uh, let's see. It's mm. a bit smaller. Like I said, when it comes to Game of Thrones, telling people who lives is a bigger spoiler than telling people who dies. <laughs> well, it's not that bad to be honest. I mean, there are series that are way worse to be to. I mean, if you think about a, a Attack on Titan, for example, I think that that series has an even bigger uh, alive to death ratio. Yeah. I think so, at least. So they don't I kill off uh, quite as critical char characters, I think. I mean, Game of Thrones is uh, pretty notorious for killing some really, really uh, important then again, characters. Then again, I mean, the only really main character? Yeah, okay. It depends I mean, like, how you define yeah, as a The very character. first one was pretty critical. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, that's the one that you are um, that you kind of remember, because that's... Kind of the yeah, it was kind of like design has it has its own chapters, a lot of them, and you thought yeah, like one of the first main characters that you followed, and you thought yeah, that's like the main guy, and then <laughs> just dead, he's dead. Yep. Yeah. Um, at least I said, Attack on Titan has a, has a much higher kill density, dead named characters per episode than Game of Thrones. That's true. Uh, I'm disappointed you don't want to tell me the story for your game, Radical Fish game, so I can write a cringy fanfic for you. <laughs> okay. Cringy fanfic? Mm, that sounds like interesting the, proposal. That, that, that kind of sounds like this World Trigger fanfic. That's so so amazing. <laughs> yes. I know the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Just, just search for uh, World Trigger and Rollo T and fanfic, and you will find the best fanfic ever. Yes. <laughs> It's amazing. Yes, I actually watched the I'm last one. Yeah, you still have to watch that. It's, yeah, it's I, I did good. watch it. Uh, I did watch it. Oh, you you did? Yes. Great. Just and did you like it? Yes. I mean, it was I, I think it, I think it it gets even better that it, because it, it's it's read by someone else and and someone who's uh, involved in the process of the manga industry. And I mean, the person is the typesetter for the. For the, for the English uh, translation or something, right? This, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's also the one. You still have to send her a, a photo of you with your member card. Oh my! Okay, yeah, I still probably should do that. Yeah, I've, I, I always wanted to tell you, but but we are so busy at the moment, so, <laughs> and we also kind of missed the the opportunity to to send the the man the mangaka a care package. A care package? She 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 wants to send him a, a care package. Which consists of like fan art and uh, and food? fan letters from no not not food it's, <laughs> it's more like a why no food it's it's a it's a moral care package okay. it's not it's not always about food mm. it, and and it consists of like fan art and so basically you could uh, submit fan art and like nice say, nice text for nice fan letters for uh, to her and then she would deliver it to the was awesome. That's amazing. But it so was. I don't like it, it was on. It was on, on such a f short notice that it was kind of pointless to participate for us. Uh. So. <laughs> oh yeah, that guy. Who what guy? Who do you who do you mean to, uh, tutorial B? <laughs> Fanfic. Fanfic. Which unfortunately only works on uh, in German. Mm -hmm. huh. 
<sighs> this, is t this is turning out nicely. Ah, uh, yeah, but I can't like to the pose. That's why I like speed painting. I have to just do that and pose is fixed. <laughs> need to have more. This is getting awesomer. Hello, life maker. You're a bit late, but uh, it's still great. Yeah, nice to have you. We just go offline now. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> no, not really. We're still actually we, are, we would probably end around this time usually, but we are doing important business, as you can see. So yeah, we we'll probably continue the business. stream for maybe until midnight or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, Tutorial B thinks the fan guy, is, uh, the fan guy, is a fanboy character is a bit creepy. But I guess Which I mean fanboy he's character? You mean from, from cross code from Oh he's one of my favorite NPCs. <laughs> yeah, same. I mean he's supposed to be a bit a bit silly and and maybe even creepy, but yeah. I mean he's a fan he's a fanboy. Yep, that's <laughs> how they are. And he just really, really respects Avatar and Mr. Mr. Mrs. Avatar. So mm -hmm. Yeah, this is looking good. Just adding black just Pitch black. <laughs> this makes it more awesome. Actually, I'm gonna probably add, add more black randomly throughout the picture. I'm just a bit. I'm just a bit worried now because because I'm that kind of guy. I got the idea that I hope no one will ever make like Rule Thirty Four fanfics about the fanboy character. Why not? Because that because that might be really creepy. Because like a super fanboy stalker ca uh, person. <laughs> Oh shit, uh, oh shit, oh. Nope, please, nope, nope, nope. Don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> you, you just made it happen, or, though. Or rather, I mean, if you do it, please don't post it in, like, places where children might read it. Yeah. Unlike all the other Rule 34 mangas, they're totally cool there. So. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it was, like, I don't know, <laughs> just layer naked. That's, that's perfectly fine for small children, I think. So, uh, yeah, not <laughs> by the normal law definition. <laughs> what? Are God sure? damn it! <laughs> I think so. Uh, it would be really creepy if he started calling her Miss Avatar Summer. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Avatar Summer Sensei Kun. <laughs> kind of like, uh, kind of like a girl chan in Paradise. Uh, Miss Avatar Summer Sensei Sensei Summer. Yeah. <laughs> Senpai noticed me. <laughs> Lea, hi. Fanboy, Senpai noticed me. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We gotta write some, di some dialogues, I think. <laughs> well, well, Urinstein. Uh, Urinstein is uh, probably like the creator of the most disturbing Rue 34 fan art ever made for CrossCode featuring me. I'm never going to retweet this one. I, s I still haven't seen this. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> I, I will remember this Urinstein forever. Uh, Felix, just just a little <laughs> shout out. Yeah. Um, if I just had to... It just looked like Lea had like the stereotypical like Nazi uniform for some reason. That's because you couldn't see the, you couldn't see the top of her head. And you 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 could only see like her, like those leather gloves or something, and and her wearing like a black, black coat. Seriously, really, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, I I, I, didn't I don't see really know how the, the Nazi uniform looked like, right? Frankly, I'm just I'm just thinking about the the this, this uh, stereotypical like um, how they are often displayed in like, like in uh, Kung Fury. Yeah, for no, not uh, not those actually. Like um, you know, all all black leather uh, vests and cloaks with like the the band and yeah. Maybe <laughs> I don't want to Google it to be honest because it, it, it's not something that I want to put in the. <laughs> 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 it would be <laughs> then just don't. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to talk about this really. Okay. Yeah, we shouldn't. I don't know. I just don't. It's like the but it's it's ever. it's kind of a problem that there is only black as a color almost. I mean that makes it 
Mm. I think you should definitely have a parrot or something colorful. Oh. Yeah, Strohheim. Strohheim Lea. German like... science is the best in the world. <laughs> what? Strohheim Lea? What? Oh. Strohheim is the best Strohheim is the best Jojo character. Okay. <laughs> Because the thing is, in the in the second arc of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, there are Nazis because it's it, it plays during <laughs> Okay. It basically plays during uh, World War Two or something. Uh -huh. and, the, and the funny thing is Nazis are kind of the enemies at first, but then they become the um, the, the allies of the What? main character. Okay, interesting. For the main reason, because the, the real enemies are um, world-destroying vampires. So the Nazis are like, hmm, <laughs> if they destroy the world, then we can't conquer it anymore. So I guess we should help the heroes to <laughs> defeat those <laughs> vampires. <laughs> and I gotta read this and, sooner or later <laughs> or and, watch it. And, and they have one character who is really sympathetic for some reason. <laughs> It's just really great. Okay. I mean, but he's but but then again, he's not really a Nazi. He's more like of a he's more like a German Wehrmachts guy. Okay. To be honest, so. <laughs> Gosh damn it! <laughs> but it's it's still really really funny because he he always goes on about German science being amazing and. <laughs> And I guess it is because they basically have sci-fi science back then. So now I'm gonna draw uh, the treasure chest. Any suggestion for that again? Uh, there should be a hedgehog looking out or something. A hedgehog or a or a meerkat parrot or something. Yeah. Oh, you, you meerkat should be on the on the shoulder, right? So. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh god, this will be a bit troublesome to add. No, I will try. <laughs> I mean, it's it's only like uh, uh, how, how do you say it in German in in English? Half, half past eleven. It's half past eleven, yeah. Okay. It's okay. some of those things that are that are so silly in the English language, like, like dates. I mean, American dates. If it's And about times, they're just as silly in German. I think it's. I mean, there's yeah, okay, yeah. half uh, halb fünf, aber. Viertel nach vier. This is this is stupid. If you ask me, it makes it makes sense. Come on. You just take the closest hour. I mean, then half is the point. If you take the the previous or the next one, that's kind of arbitrary. So that's kind of stupid. In English, it's uh, it's exactly the same. Actually, no, it's not. Actually, you no, know, it's actually it's like it's about the the half mark. Like in in German, you take like um, the next one. In English, you take the previous hour, mm -hmm. and I think both are kind of stupid because in both cases it's arbitrary. You don't know which one is closer. You just take the one or the other. So whatever. Mm, true. Pillar, <laughs> the pillar men and vampires. They are kind of the uh, inventors of vampire. Well, they are still kind of vampires if you think about it, because they still get defeated by the power of the sun. Or rather, by people uh, using breathe breathing techniques uh, that channel the power of the sun, because it's Jojo. <laughs> the power of the sun. Yes, yeah, the, the thing is, I mean, um, Jojo, the, the first two arcs is basically um, vampires. Um, there are vampires, and they get and and people try to defeat them. By using br uh, breathing techniques that somehow channel the power of the sun mm -hmm. through their moves for some reason, and then uh, in the second uh, in, in the third arc, things get crazy because the first two arcs weren't crazy already. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you should watch that at some point because it's at some point I might probably. It, it 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 really is a big part of uh, Japanese manga culture, I think. Oh no! <laughs> What happened? Yes, no, it's it's a it's a JoJo quote. Like, jo uh, Joseph Joestar is like one of the best, best <laughs> characters ever. So. Yeah, uh, I I also s somewhat uh, prefer the the um, Hamon techniques to um, overstands because 
it was still a bit more grounded. I mean, stance was basically the uh, stance basically made every battle into a puzzle battle, which I guess is cool in some to some degree. I mean, to be honest, watching the third season of JoJo or like the entire Egyptian arc kind of reminded me of of watching like card game battles in Yu-Gi-Oh, because they constantly had to like bullshit their way around the uh, the enemy's power in some way. <laughs> mm-hmm. And Felix doesn't know uh, what I'm talking about, but nope. I think, I think, mm-hmm. uh, I think some of our, um, some of the view- viewers know. So that's cool. <laughs> I don't have to know everything. But then again, I mean, uh, Harmon was also pretty ridiculous at times. I mean, you could like use use it on some dry leaves and make us uh, like a wing plane or something, <laughs> or like you can use Harmon on. Like a row of icicles to create a like a rope. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was pretty, pretty much an all-purpose power. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, true. Das Herz der Karten is not bullshit. It's totally something that's important. I mean. Herz der Karten is, is something, or, or the heart of the card is something that didn't actually exist in the Japanese version, from what I've heard. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, actually, yeah, um, Joseph is still able to use Harmon in the third, the third season, but it's just that uh, jo- um, Joseph is one of the characters who is uh, fighting the least of the of the team. I think. I mean, I, I haven't seen the last season yet. Like the Gosh damn it, now the meerkat. Oh man, I wonder if I can do that. Oh, it is, yes. I mean, then again, you, you can use Harmon against everything, to be honest. Because it's, it, it can basically... It can basically use against... Uh, it can basically use to empower your, your moves or something. So... Yes, this is now a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure stream, or rather talk. Well, I draw a pirate layer, that is, so. Yep. And uh, currently drawing a pirate meerkat on top of layer. By the way, Felix, um, you know about uh, the Weekly Manga Recap podcast, right? Never heard of it. It's not like Never you tell me it. about it like every every freaking day. Or every, yeah. Or every and, second day. Um, <laughs> the thing is, um, they they um, they were really critical about World Trigger in the first like fifteen chapters or so. Mm-hmm. And now the the guy who made who makes those visual editions um, <laughs> found it to be very funny to make those. To, to turn all those uh, takes of them where they were uh, like uh, shitting on the series and put them together in a video and be like, haha, you hate the, the series for for like a few months mm-hmm. before you laughed it. Yeah, to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's especially funny because they, they often think like, ah, damn it, I hope the series get, gets cancelled soon. And ah, this is so bad. This, this will never be good. And I can't imagine this. I can't imagine this ever being interesting ever. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like ten weeks later, God, this is the best manga of all time. I <laughs> okay, uh, well, this is nice. Eh? I would watch it. How yeah. long is it? It's like an hour because it's okay, it basically. Right, right. No, okay, then I won't watch it. They basically talk about like twenty chapters, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it, it's it's mostly text. I mean, you can just, yeah, I mean, not, not text, like audio. You can listen to it while, I don't know, drawing something. <laughs> like now, but no, I can't. For no, reasons. not now. Or, or when you're spriting something. Else. Yeah, I don't know. I still don't like to do this because, quite frankly, when you do stuff while you're doing stuff, you will be slower. No matter yeah, what you say. Maybe. It is like I this. mean... So if but you want to really it, have it full depends. speed, you really should focus on work and not do stuff in parallel, really. But then again, yeah. I mean, maybe it's just just for me when I was like mapping the de- details that mm-hmm. I was uh, vo- um, listening to the game ground thing because 
it just made it easier to 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 stay focused for a longer time. So 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 maybe that's okay. why it helped. Because the thing is, um, uh, mapping and f especially mapping details can be very very like tiresome after a while because maps are pretty big and you have all those layers of details that you want to map and you want to map it yeah, like yeah i guess so and and if you are like um listening to something meanwhile it it really helps you stay focused and not like drift off or get i know maybe i'm just kind of used to do monotonous work because i was doing like uh the tax reports for my father when i was young <laughs> that's like extremely well. boring work and i kind of managed to do that there's a lot of boring work that you can do, I mean. <laughs> it's, it's part, I mean, we all it's also part of the work you need to do. It's, it's not everything can be interesting, unfortunately. I mean, I have I have done like those those stuff for my grandmother as well, like for her uh, her sickness, Krankenversicherungs nonsense. So that's also pretty mon monotonous. Yeah. I guess everyone has, I mean, I mean, everyone has to go through monotonous work in today's yeah. society because everyone has to deal with like uh paperwork and uh yeah. how is it called like like amts stuff i know yeah i don't know what to say, how to say this in english anyway so we got now meerkat on top of lair on her shoulder as su suggested so here you go um Ah, so what's I think next? It would be better if you. I think it would be better if you are not doing the standard meerkat, but rather the other meerkat because the color might. Um, what color did it have? I don't remember. It, it, it was more red brownish, right? I'm lazy now. I'm gonna make you saturation change. Yeah. Okay. Keep it. And it's just that. Well, then again, it it might be okay. It's it, it's just that it, the color is pretty similar to the headgear. I made it more red now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking lazy. Did you? Did you just? <laughs> what? Okay, no, it it um, it worked. It's okay. <laughs> That's amazing. It's an amazing layer. I like it. I mean, she kind of lacks. She kind of lacks a, a rum bottle or a sandwich or something, but it's okay. Oh man, that's what the the arm down here can be used for. Now I know what. Yeah, right. Uh, because I was just sketching them, or like what she does with his arm. But yeah, it makes sense. I would just add a rum bottle in there, and then everything's and it, perfect. And it also makes um, it it would have also made the uh, drawing the hand easier because you wouldn't have drawn the fingers. I think that's that's true. Yeah, just give it a scarf of colorful feathers and a paper talon in the face, and it's disguised as a parrot. <laughs> a what? A, a parrot, a papagai. A, a scarf of colorful feathers. <laughs> and a paper talon. Uh. Yeah, but but I think it's fine. I mean, it's uh, this way it's, it's at least instantly recognizable as one of the enemies. Yep, yep. Ah, I freaking hate layers. So I will just and not the one there, but I hate layers <laughs> because I always. Uh, Why would you hate layer? I don't get it. You don't. You can't imagine how often I say that when I work with Photoshop. It's like I always mix up layers, so that's why I prefer to work just one layer. It's. Uh, I don't get things mixed up then. I wouldn't mind working with more than one layer. <laughs> But I would. <laughs> you're you're such a conservative. There feelings. can only be one layer. <laughs> yes, and and next week we will have Highlander. High layer. Hi, oh I, no, no! For fuck's sake, that's that's terrible. You said Highlander instead of High layer. You, yes, because it's, there can be only one, the Highlander. But it will be a High layer. Get it? High layer. Die, Hannah. Just die. Say, yeah. Oh die. man, it's, this is terrible. I'm terrible. Yes, I'm. You should I'm be ashamed like, of yourself. So, to to say it like on Tumblr, I'm 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 pun making trash. Just kill me. Mm. That's nothing new, though. Okay, but guys. I think the people um, didn't. Even, I I I think people didn't even notice because they are too. Uh, um, 
they're too embroiled in talking about Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, <laughs> okay. which I can understand. Right. So, uh, does anybody still care about the pirate layer being drawn here? Uh, in that case, I'm gonna ask anything else you want to see on this uh, on this really badass pirate layer thing, because I guess we are about to wrap things up then. Um, a jar of a dirt. Jar. Why? <laughs> Why? And they still listen to you, Hannah. <laughs> what? It's one to ten. What? Hands. I don't get it. What? Eh? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, by the way, pun. you um, you for you forgot to make the uh, um the, the ball symbol on the. Oh whatever, guys. <laughs> oh come Look on. Look here. Here's the ball. I even gave it a bit of shadow, and that's too light. So, like here, like here. Look, it's a ball. It's round, so it must be a ball. Yay, <laughs> guys! <laughs> Lea, kinda Lea like we're approaching midnight here. Kinda getting tired a bit. Let's make another ball now. That's stupid. Ah, no, I get. Okay, yeah. It's it's been a while since I've seen Pirate of the Ch of the Caribbean. Or how it's called in Germany, Der Fluch der Karibik. <laughs> I have no idea why they actually renamed it, but... So, do I see any more suggestions about the artwork? Because somebody got to read them to me because I don't really... And... Uh, Somebody whose name Very Nick I can't pronounce say that they he really likes our game and thanks for saying that. It's glad to hear that you Felix, like our game. It's, it, it, it's Life Maker. It's the one. It's like lead ah, Life Maker. Ah, it's clear. Okay. Thanks, Life Maker. I can't really uh, lead speak right now. You you need to read uh, Mega Tokyo again. But then again, no, don't do that. <laughs> And add some a few details here and there. Piratendeckel. Actually, Dr. Orienstein, there was a um, a pirate movie ripoff that was called uh, Piraten der Karibik in Germany. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna add some bit of shadow to the hair. It's kind of missing. Mm -hmm. I mean, that reminds me, um, at some point, I guess we uh, we should also have, like, a Attack on Titan layer with, like, those... Oh, gosh. Like, uh, medieval <laughs> Spider-Man thing. Medieval Spider-Man thingies. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, we are, band we are band wagoning so many things to promote the game that yes. I, I guess Attack on Titan would be... An obvious choice. Is there a next season coming soon or something? Or is it still uh, popular? Ne the next season will be uh, uh, to 2016. And of course it's still popular. I mean, it's Attack on Titan. It's one of the most popular animes of the last decade. Or of, or, or of this decade. Might or be. Rather. I, th I, I actually think that Attack on Titan actually was one of the most popular animes of all time. In terms of pop, uh, pop culture... Uh, pop culture relevance in the West. It's really hard to say, I think. I've read that a few times at least. I mean, I've even read like a few yeah, like uh, people articles. Yeah, like people say random stuff on the internet. <laughs> it, it wasn't random people on Tumblr or something. It was more like uh, even even like mainstream media, like, okay. like mainstream things like New York Times or whatever. Okay. <laughs> How how appropriate is it to say that Leah is cross dressing? I would say very appropriate. <laughs> or is it? Yeah, whatever. I I hope so. I hope that there will be a speed uh, a speed wagon version in Crosscode. You mean like a character that that is that's constantly over dramatic and explains the stuff that's just happening? <laughs> A uh, speed wagon is a character from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Especially <laughs> Seriously, in okay, okay. Yeah, the thing is, in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, um, a lot of characters are named after 
after um, after so, um, some music stuff like like Western bands, for example. Mm. Like one of the most badass enemies in in the in the third arc is named Vanilla Ice, appropriately. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I think that one is rather good. Yeah, I'm actually not perfectly sure about the colors, and that's why I don't like doing improvising with colors because I suck at it. Uh, maybe I can. It's pretty black, but it's. I mean, I, I guess uh, the cliche pirates would be a bit more colorful, like with. Yeah, let um, me just bit do more some quick recoloring a bit. Okay. Just doing. It's just. Speed of wagon. Filling some stuff here. It looks okay. Maybe a bit less contrast color. And I think yeah, the the bad guys in the second arc of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure were called, I think, Wam, ACDC for some reason. AC, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, but 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 spelled differently, like ACDC, like ACDC or something, <laughs> and. The other one, I don't remember how the, how the other one was called. I think it, it it was like four guys, and one was defeated instantly. The other three, not sure how they are called. I'm, I think I will. I think I will mm -hmm. just look it up real quick. Yeah, Vamu, ACDC, and Cars, right? But there was a there was a fourth one. I'm just adding some random details now to make it more look like a bird. But um, um, just a little uh, uh, fun little Jojo insider that, is, that only Germans will get. Uh, Dio is a, is a Manuel Neuer of the Jojo universe. And probably also people understanding Jojo as adventure, I guess. Or should I understand this? Yeah. One? You might understand it because there is this rather popular meme that says... But it is me, Dio. Mm. And that's basically saying it's basically a quote from the anime that's that's and it gets used by constantly in in all kinds of situations. Like you thought you were mm -hmm. X X Y Z Z Z, but it but it was me, Dio. Oh, okay. I mean, it's it, it's basically the same as this stupid Manuel Neuer uh, commercial thing. Aber, aber vielleicht ist es auch Manuel Neuer. I don't even know Manuel Neuer, really. What, what is this? You don't know? What the fuck? You don't know the person or you don't know the, the advertisement? I don't... neither. <laughs> you... damn it, Felix. Manuel Neuer is, is, is the German uh, football uh, goalkeeper. Is that the one from the last World Cup? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I actually knew this guy and I forgot his name. That's yeah. just our role. Okay. Um, and and then the, and then there there was this this commercial, and it kind of became like a German meme almost because it it it, it got used by everyone basically. Okay. Interesting. And the joke of that advertisement was basically, aber vielleicht ist es auch vielleicht ist es auch gar nicht bla bla vielleicht ist es auch mal ein neuer. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and, and that was kind of the joke. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I see. So look, I made the layer a bit more colorful, like by not everything black, but adding some white lines. It looks much interesting, much more interesting that way. A bit more pirate-ish, I guess. That we kind of uh, ignored. Dude, <laughs> please, I'm not the guy who looks for questions. That's your job, really. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, first, a really important one. Yeah. Okay. I just did. Okay. Um, and then this is uh, one bad as Leia. I would uh, get that as a DLC if you offered it. Yes, definitely. You remember this. And, <laughs> and um, you, you, um, your game is inspired by Chrono Trigger, isn't it? Well, yeah. Well, from the looks, the, lo the, the style is... The style is a bit inspired by Chrono Trigger and Cycling and Zetsu. Quite 3. frankly, it's more Cycling and Zetsu 3, but it just happens that it's very similar to Chrono Trigger in many ways. So people just say and Chrono think Trigger, Chrono and that's true. And I think Chrono Trigger is 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 is, is a bit more popular in the West because it was actually yeah, re it released was actually released. Yeah, the that, that, that's obviously 
more per more more widely known. <laughs> okay, so, um, this is something I was fearing. Trixie is asking why has the the mayor had a stone on his head, but that's not the stone. It's it's like the it's like it's part a of horn. the headgear. It's a horn. It's a horn for the headgear. Yeah, let me just maybe. Actually, I was thinking that this one looks a bit skewed, so I'm just gonna improve that a bit very quickly. It's not not a big deal. So just to make this one a bit better <laughs> to see, hopefully. As a only p um, um, as a PC only player, it uh, it only uh, reminds me of RPG Maker 2K. <laughs> <laughs> well, then again, um, yeah. then again. Um, you might find a lot of Seiken and Zetsu and Chrono Trigger graphics in RPG Maker 2K games yep. or 2K3 games. Very pretty popular there. Because because it's it was like a common practice in most um, and it still is to be honest in most communities to use uh, ripped graphics from commercial games to to use in their uh, non-commercial mm -hmm. uh, projects because no one really cares for it. I mean, come on. Uh, yeah. And and that's the main reason why why we can't do that because we are doing commercial work and <laughs> it's not something. Yeah, also I'm a crew beyond that really. I, I'd prefer doing my own graphics in general. Yeah, of course, of course. But actually, I mean, that's a really, the, a mean, real game. that's actually why I'm so familiar with these other kind of graphics because from the RPG Maker area, we just used Cycne and that's three graphics. So I I also edited those edited graphics this. and that's actually how I got to know how the cliffs works in uh, in Cycne, that's the three and all that kind of stuff. So. So basically, I mean, um, drawing inspiration or even work or even editing them and 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 working with those graphics might be the best training to uh, get it into is. pixel. It is. Quite frankly, if you mm. want to start doing chipsets, it's a good idea to just take a very very close look at the best uh, chipset graphics that you find around. And I think Cycling Death is pretty much on the top of the list, really. Yeah. Felix, don't go into that into that topic. People might disagree with you and, and tell you that other graphics are much better. <laughs> yeah, like banned and, people. Uh, like like people that are now permanently banned from a certain site. Woo -hoo -hoo, we're dancing on your gra oh, okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was no, rather stupid, really. I mean, it's just, yeah, of course, everything is a matter of taste. When you discuss graphics, you will always have different point of views. I still think that Cycle and Zetsu 3 does a lot of things very well with graphics, so I, I have no problem copying that. And th yeah. I think the same ideas are used in Chrono Trigger in many ways. And, I uh, mean, to be honest, um, there is, of course, I mean, modern with 16 by 16 tiles, there's, there's only so much difference you can have, to be honest. Yeah, so, well, I mean, I don't think the resolution really is that much of a limiting factor. It's more. I mean, Super Nintendo had a limited color set, and they could have not too many different mm -hmm. tiles, so they had to use a lot of tricks. But I kind of like using meant those like, tricks. So. <laughs> but I meant, um, if you're going for a certain style, like for a style that that has a certain feel to it, then it's it's only natural that it mm -hmm. kind of looks similar to games that also go into that style, especially in that kind of uh, color. Yeah. Thanks, uh, color Osamaro, for. Placing your trust into cross code, so we make sure mm -hmm. you're hopefully yeah, not disappointing by updating the game regularly and giving a lot of awesome stuff and shit. Uh, yeah, so thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Is there more hype than? Is there anything more hype than JoJo or cross code? Mm. JoJo in cross code. Or JoJo cross -code in, in cross code. Or yes. cross code in JoJo. I, I think. Um, I I I think I will definitely make some some items or techniques or something that that have a re uh, uh, reference to Crosscode uh, to JoJo. I yes, mean, that's please to Crosscode. It to kind Jojo. of has to happen. <laughs> yes, I get what you mean. That's um, good. I, as I said, I mean I I had this idea for a ball technique that 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 kind of draws um, inspirations from the from Zavardo, like okay. with um, slow motion and time stop. Stopping thing, but but only for t for style purpose, of course. <sighs> yep. Like imagine, mm, tr tr um, should I just spoil my my idea here, or should I just write it down? Write it down, please. <coughs> okay, I think I want I want to wrap the stream up somehow because it's getting close to midnight, and I want to go home. Uh, just another thing, real quick. Um, uh, tutorial B says. Um, after things like Starforge and DayZ, I really, really don't trust early access. 
Is Starforge and DayZ that disappointing? Because I haven't really played it that much. Or rather, barely, barely. No idea, really. I heard that a lot of early access titles have the problem that they just are yeah, buggy and they kind of stay buggy. And I think we don't have this problem, at least right now we don't. Hopefully we'll stay that way. Uh, whoa! We have a really stable basis. What the fuck? I'm a 16-year-old Spanish guy that I wanted to create video games. I'm starting to work on C Sharp just to win a concert. Is this spam or is it not spam? It is a, it's uh, not my spam. question here it's a question. Too. First of all, I want to do the game. I'm thinking all by myself. So I have to do the design. I need to uh, do this is sound of music and photography, but I don't know how to compose okay. music with a computer, but I compose a bit of... So how do I create music and sounds and it writes about your job? Okay. I, don't, I, I, want to I can't really answer how to do music and sound. That's actually what our Tero or Teflo could answer if they would be around. I'm not sure if they're still. Uh, I think they are not. No, no, they are not. Okay. Me Music Sun has left us. So, yeah, we are like a rather large team, Ribbon, so we, River. We don't really have this kind of situation where one person makes everything. So, unfortunately, there's uh, nobody here who. We might have. We, um, the thing is, uh, our music guy or our composer in Tarot uh, might do a stream in the future while do, doing composing stuff, right? Yeah. So, you might want to uh, keep. Keep a lookout for that, or, or, or for our channel. Mm -hmm. We might do it in our channel. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I think, and I think you, it would be much easier. You should be able to find a tutorial somewhere online, like if you Google it. Probably. So, yeah. I mean, you can Google everything nowadays. Mm -hmm. It's just that you will be, you will need to filter the answers, of course, and the results. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just save this one to uh, good old JPEG. Here we go. Save pirate layer, high quality, please. Yeah, no problem. You're welcome. So, are there any more questions that are left open to answer? Because we are about to uh, close that stream. Hmm? That are less long. Yeah, maybe less <laughs> no, long. Are okay. you still excited for Xenoblade X? Um, Yes. I guess I still am. Um, it's it's, in, it's supposed to be released in December, right? So that gives us, unfortunately, December, a lot of time yeah. to make progress with CrossCode before we might be extracted for some time. So basically, we can we can basically motivate ourselves. <laughs> like, if we don't reach at least this and, and that milestone, we don't get to play Xenoblade. Yes. But then again, it 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 might not even be motivation. It might be like torture. Torture. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> So guys, here's the JPEG for you to have first access, and I'm going to tweet that soon anyway. And um, <clears throat> so what else? Please make crosscode references and crosscode. We'll make sure to do that. Uh, it's yeah. I will make uh, I, I will I will um, implement a weapon that that's just called ball. Perfect. Nailed it. Um <laughs> So yeah. I mean I, I think that I saw this discussion here you know, some people said a lot of people here concerned that you want to suggest people cross code but they're concerned about early access and they don't buy because of that and yeah, I mean that's that's to be expected. You just have to. Yeah. You have to. Uh, yeah, you have to get what you can get. I mean, if people don't like early access, like in many ways, we are too late with our project. When we do crowdfunding, people are already suspicious about crowdfunding. Now we do early access, and people are already suspicious about early access. So yeah, we are not the, like in the, the in the best time to get like the most amount of money. I was actually not going to bad. We already sold mm -hmm. quite a lot of copies of early access. I'm not sure I want to say that here out loud, though. Like we are rich. Later. We can just say that. No, we are not. <laughs> <laughs> but we might yes. uh, be able but to I find us a couple more months based on early access, and that's a good thing because um, yeah, crowdfunding by itself, I mean, thing it's, is, it's not that much. I mean, the thing is, in the long run, if people then buy the game 
when it's officially released and it's all well. Exactly. So, so I mean, people who don't want to buy early access yeah. because they don't trust uh, the system, that's perfectly fine. I mean, we still need people who buy the game when it's finished, <laughs> right? So. Yeah, unless we we sell like a uh, uh, hundred thousand like in early access already or something, that would be. I mean, if, if that complain? happens, we don't. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not that type of game though. I mean, a lot of people want to see the complete story and want to yeah. see how the the ending of the game is. So I can't understand why it will not take off as an early access title. It's more like an additional yeah. way to finance development, really. And we don't expect that like, we will get to a get huge beta testing. Sure, yeah, like finance development and get more feedback and beta testing. That's the two mm -hmm. things we're essential. And I think, I mean, I mean, early access has kind of a bad reputation nowadays, but I think. If you get a game that, that delivers in quality,